So after a month or two of using OpenSUSE with KDE as my desktop, I decided to switch away from KDE and move over to GNOME. Now keep in mind I'm still using OpenSUSE as my daily driver workstation, but I'm using GNOME, specifically GNOME 3.26.2 as my desktop, and since you guys tend to like videos like this, I want to tell you all about why I decided to switch. So if you follow me over on Patreon, I put up blog posts about kind of various and sundry things. One of my more recent posts is how I just started a new job at this super awesome little company in the UK called Aula. So when I started at Aula, I wanted to plug everything into my desktop. So that's like emails and contacts and calendar and all that other stuff. And I was on KDE, which means I had to use contact. Contact is KDE's personal information manager or PIM. It's basically a single application that handles all of your email and your contacts and your tasks and calendar and all that other stuff. Contact just did not work for me. I had problems with it syncing my email. It never figured out my contacts and I had multiple problems with the calendar. It wouldn't sync up new meeting invites and notifications worked sometimes and other times they didn't and yet other times they wouldn't pop up but they'd be stuck in the system tray. It was just a mess. So I was actually already looking at GNOME for my Raspberry Pi video before I decided to do KDE on the Pi. And I was checking out some of the extensions that were available for GNOME and I found this really, really cool extension called Dash to Panel. Dash to Panel is a lot like the popular extension Dash to Dock, which turns the Dash into a Dock. Dash to Panel does sort of the same thing. It takes the Dash and turns it into the panel, but it also combines it with the top bar. Now this is a really big deal to me because I grew up using Windows and the general Windows motif or I guess desktop metaphor. There's always been a panel on the bottom and there's like a start menu and all this other stuff and that just makes sense to me as a desktop. I know a lot of people don't like that and I know a lot of people prefer the Mac OS way of doing things with like an actual dock and all this other stuff going on. I don't like that. I've always liked a panel. And I was super thrilled to see that there was like an actual panel extension. And this isn't like a half-assed extension. This thing is awesome. So GNOME Activities works exactly the way it does before, though I think you can replace it with another extension that behaves more like a start menu sort of thing. But the panel shows all of your active windows just like the dash used to. I've got another extension, Top Icons Plus, which shows all of the other icons. Like if Slack is running, there's Slack down there. We've got Discord, OBS is going. And then there's the regular like system sort of settings here. And I think for the default, the clock is actually to the far left of the icons down here. I've moved it to the far right because that just feels natural to me. And speaking of the clock, this widget applet thing is an absolutely killer feature for me in GNOME. The notification section is really cool because if a notification pops out and you miss it, you can just pop this up and see all of your notifications here. They're not hidden or anything, so that's cool. And then if you notice in the calendar, there's all these dates that are underlined. Those are my calendar events. I can actually look at the calendar and get like a quick overview of what my entire month looks like. And then Aula is based out of the UK and I'm based out of the West Coast of the United States. So that's like an eight hour difference. So I've got a world clock that tells me what time it is in London. And all of this was super freaking easy to set up too. With contact, you have to log in to like each thing. For your email, you have to log in. For your calendar, you have to log in. And even though my email is set up through Google, it just has like a domain alias, I can tell Evolution that my email address is brian at egio, and it figures out that it's actually a Google account and all that other stuff. Contact, you have to put all of that in manually. So after finding the dash to panel extension and then plugging all of my work stuff into Evolution, having it all just integrate into GNOME, that pretty much sealed the deal. I was sold. So I know you all are wondering about the theme I'm using and of course, my background. So the theme I've got going on is Vimex or Vimex Dark. Really, really cool theme. It's like flat, but not. It's like Mac OS decorations, but not. It's just a really, really slick theme. I'm using it for both applications and the shell. For the icons, I'm using Papyrus because I think that the colors go really well with the application theme. The cursor is DMZ white. I like the traditional cursor. I've never really been a fan of the big chunky breeze cursor. Now application style is important for theming, but so is the fonts. The fonts I'm using is Mont Serrat, Serrat. I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm sure I butchered it. This font is so underrated and so awesome. 
It just makes everything look and feel really smooth and silky and just awesome. And now my background. Boy, you guys ask me a lot of questions about my background. Where do I get this? Where do I get that? You know where I get all my backgrounds? Reddit. I absolutely do not browse the internet and look for awesome, great backgrounds. I just subscribe to a bunch of subreddits and let them fill my feed. If I see something cool, I save it. And when I get around to it, I download it. So I've got like an entire folder of really great wallpapers and I kind of pick and choose ones for each month. But I think this is probably a good place to end the video. As I said at the beginning, I have a Patreon. I use it kind of as a personal blog. You don't need to subscribe to my Patreon to view the posts, but it is greatly appreciated. As is all of your support, I appreciate all of you. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. And of course, thanks for watching.